ability that like really worried about, but we'll have to see here. So we're gonna break on the Phoenix here. Well, they're also breaking in on boom, the pit of malice onto four, but that is going to be a dead on the back line. underlord. The backside, do they have what they need? Okay, Song of the Siren to go for the reset, trying to go for the isolation play onto mid one. Can they blow him up? Control, silence, but the snowball is there and onto the Zeus illusions. The bear is going to die at least one time, but can they do it again? Chrysalis tries to beat now into XXS. Thunder God's Wrath out. The control is there. So much damage in an AOE. His and they bears oh, are dead. Die. No, it's they're going to be though. too late. <laughs> oh, no. Everything on the ground. They're still going to jump in and try and chase this. See if they can get anybody at all. The egg is in a perfect position. They're oh, getting that egg is wallet. too good. They can't do anything. The bear was hitting that egg the entire time which doesn't do anything. And now they're going to finish this one off. Devastating fight. All the Zeus damage in the world. Another egg, because why not? And that is four dead egg with back up again in a little bit. If they can find the fight right now, it's really good. Yeah. Gabby looking. Has the blink. Tries to find it. Not going to get it. Spear is out, but it doesn't latch. XM. He's the one that's going to get caught for a moment. Now the bear in. Phoenix is coming back into this fight, but he already used the TP. So it's going to be a while. Trying to run away is the Lone Druid. The bear starting to drop down. They have a resummon. Pango, though, in no man's land, gets brought down. He does have a Oh, what a silence by Ovid. Nicely played. Catches, kills off XXS. They're going in one by one. Devastating fight here. And Carlo, excuse me, Xian Ming right on top of them. They try and pop the egg. Will it be able to get it in time? Yes. Triple kill. Raven, but look Zeus. at it. Zeus comes back in! <laughs> a triple kill for Raven, now trying to take down this TA. Oh, There's the jump! No, but the silence was there again! Lotus Orb trying to back away, although they do find and kill off that clockwork. Now, Arena connects on to two. Zeus turns, start to spam out the spells. The egg placed very far away, but in a position where they're not going to kill it. And now the roll through, the chase down. This is the fight that they were waiting for. Azure Ray. It take three. Here, and if you can find low at that point and kill him, you won't have to worry about the push anymore, right? So I think right. there's a lot of eyes on low here and his position on this team. Amanda. It's found. XM there. You will scepter to lift up and try to walk away. Hit a bramble. Feels bad. Feels, feels bad. Wait a minute. Night. He went in too. Okay. BKB now for the turnaround. They're running in one by one by one and gets caught with a root. Oh, that is not the way the going to find him the Cyclone. They got the Necro. They get him. Does have a Yule Scepter when he comes down. Also, Death Seeker at the ready. The Void. He's gone. He's it back in. Very gone. Oh, man. Death Seeker not a break. Wait, they go in now with the Spectre, too? Yo, 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 yo. What is happening? Spectre is now also caught, fully surrounded. What an utter and complete collapse. Mind beams are turning. They think they're going to go straight to Roshan, but instead. Looking for more, looking for more. Smoke about to break. They see save right away. Lul He's gets so the fast. rage off because of it. Because they saw him there. Yule Scepter lift up onto the mag, keeping him under control, but XM is there. And now they're on to Nightfall. Nightfall is in so much trouble. They get him caught with that RP. Wants to run him down, but he does get the Sunder off. He's Sundering his own teammates. The anti Duraccio Sunder as they jump out and find Nightfall. The lift is going to be there again. Pull it on down, GPK. Get the Most kill. The shard. Yeah, they're going to be forced into some buybacks, surely, but they're already in a situation where they need more oh, items. Duraccio Duraccio. With the break. Got the break onto him. Manta immediately trying on. to back away, but he's invested, already taking so much damage. Hell, he's trying to talk away, but Topol can't bail him out. He's dead, no buyback there. And without the Mortal Blink, they frankly just do not have the damage that the bear can't do anything. Not against this lifesteal and disarm coming up from this Viper. And now that the bear's gone, and now that the water boy's gone as well, there's really nothing left in the elements for Game and Gladiators. They'll stick around for this fight, try and poke some of these heroes. Quinto's Another invest usage. Jumping onto the bear this time around, start putting the damage back into oh, him. Dead. Easily getting these kills. Yeah, that's it. GG. Yeah, what an interesting game, honestly. Like, I, I feel like this is a 
very frustrating game for Gaiman because this was going pretty much exactly how they planned. Maybe the smoke leads to his first uh, piece of big activity oh, here. Skidder though. Skidder's the one being hunted, it seems. Though Falcons are maybe using him as bait to try and set up a Skidder. Gonna cop an onslaught. They'll go for snaking first snaking. He'll pop the hand of God. XM taking way too much damage. Rub's just gonna come out on Maureen, but XM still dropping low. Does go down. Meanwhile, the Doom committed. They are still trying for the Pango, but Maureen just stand his ground. He finally oh. goes down, and now thank you. Oh, thank you! What an what an initiation! Right on Whoa. top. Where did he come from? Just walks right in, doesn't have a blink, has the setup with the egg. They're all their attentions what? dragged into that area. They'll find one more. And Azure. Replay please. Thank you, Keyboy. Float. Jump in, is there ATF? They found a great target, but Float, he's got the BKB up. In fact, he's gonna go for the man fight. There's your doom out. They oh. caught Skidder with the life stealer. It's not looking too good. And Sting Q just creating absolute havoc in the middle of the fight. No buybacks. There's three down, no buyback. All of four no down, buybacks. no buybacks. How long does it take to call? call it? There it is. GG is caught. AR. I mean, maybe getting a little bit rocky. Tian Tian trying to run. Bushwhack will not land. Get up. He'll cop the Beatles now. Me oh Malreen! Oh. Malreen is down. Snaking also being chased here by Azure Ray. Skidder, he's gonna pop the chrono. He's found a couple targets, but XM, he's outside of the chrono with the shit with, with with the save as Skidder. He just cannot finish the job off. The shallow grave more than enough as Skidder is oh down. My God. And with that, I mean they might find Tian Ming, but they're losing ATF. ATF to boot is down and that's cool. you to set up a good soul bind so you can get double fade bolt, double shuriken, double track, and get those heroes low enough that they can come in. He's in with the jump, he's been able to get the arena in onto the three of them, they throw oh, the chain from the well, they'll get the stolen arena, but I don't think it will matter. As they've lost GQ low, he's in with the chrono, has he got the damage? They've taken out Instania, he's trying to focus Nisha, but Boxy's able to turn with the hex low. Don't spot over towards Boxy, Deathly Glass pushes back low, but they killed off Boxy. If they can find anything more, they'll lose XXS. Low trying his best to clean up this fight. Nisha will fall. It's only McKenna Stadia left. They've got the Fable on the two of them. Low's gonna continue to push on. They take the Aegis out of the hands and send the Phil Stadia. They're ready to go for round two onto Mikkei after this Aegis. They'll catch him with the silence. Azure Ray, they hit back hard. The sun is thrown down. XXS is gonna open things up on the Sableye. Sableye has to put the BKB. He'll get control for it, but for now, by the ultimate. He can be soon to come to an end. Mikkei's gonna jump in towards XXS. Boxy will be able to hold back XM with a stun, but there's the chrono. He's out, one of the two of them lows him with the damage. Stable lights out. Same to be said for Boxy. It's a clean two kills off the back of that chrono for low, and he's not done yet. Tian Ming with the stolen sinister gaze controls Insania. Triple kill for low. They continue to look for this cleanup. Boxy will buy back, but I don't know if Liquid's Rex are buying this team fight as low and XM. They can run down at Mikkei and Nisha. Mikkei will try and fight back. They'll push back low with a deafening blast. The blast has stolen finger in fact, I believe, from Tian Ming, but it was onto the enraged uh, so low. Sticking low to the Spirit Vessel, but they'll have time or back up again. Let's see if he wants to stand his ground. The Stone Strike will come down upon it, but low, he's surviving for it all! He knows! You know, due to stomping game one and two, look at this, another smoke coming out. There's ults on the supports for Azure Ray. There's no ults for gaming supports. They got out leveled here. Ethereum, easy fight if you get All the... All they need to do is get the catch. They yeah, need the stuns, the... and they've got him underneath the Supernova. This is perfect. XM is going to pull him back in. Quinn hit by oh, that stun. Them all. It's going to be a second more. The supports come in, scrambling to try and save the course, but now they're going to get run down too. Azure Ray just outnumbering gaming gladiators for once. They're the ones... It's like, I just need to output as much damage as quick as possible. Get a pick off somewhere, but XXS! Oh, get time the left. brick wall! You're not getting through this! In fact, you're not getting away either! Locked inside the Chronosphere with the Supernova to boot! They will get annihilated in this fight. They still have the Freezing Field. Jirachu's gonna play off of that one, but it's not looking good. Gaming Gladiator's gonna buy back on some of the heroes, but there's nobody left in the fight. By the time they TP in, everybody. Azure knocking on the door. Kronos here, only catching the Naga Siren, and the save is there. XM, can even put it to use. Jirachu now turns on to XXS, but it's not looking great on the damage department. Quinn, he chases after them. Rolling Thunder actually puts the roar onto the Centaur, but now here comes the Supernova. Andre. How are you walking into this one? The Beastmaster is losing health fast, and there's nobody who can bail him out. Look at XM, taking forward with the aggression. Game the Gladiators, they deep? had this year's old the the bailout. Thunder goes out. He it's a deal. beautiful stomp from XXS. A three-man stomp that allows them to be able to chase down all of Game and Gladiators. Oh, they will claim every single life.
Game the Gladiators teetering on. Look at that damage onto the Pango. That was almost enough just to throw it out. Them out. They immediately have to go to the Chrono Sphere, but the Sage once again. Song. The Centaur, nothing else. The Song comes out as well. The Tamps are mid team fight. They know this is already done. They can sense it. The team fight's over. You can't do anything without this. Duraccio caught inside the Supernova. The Sun will explode in his face, blinding him. Blinded to the back. The Ubers, they thought they could get this 3 0. Down. Four games against Game and Gladiator stomped four games in a row. This wasn't just a game. This wasn't just a series. This was vindication. Do it down in that position. Make a reverse sweep and do it in style as they are throwing out the tip during a song. Malaysia, they, just, they put way sleep. for the new generation of Chinese talent. The one and only Azure Ray!